Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we practiced how to insert rows into a table in Postgres. Now in this lecture, we will try the same thing using the returning clause. Okay, the insert statement also has an optional returning clause that returns the information of the inserted row. Okay, in the last lecture, the way we inserted the record into the table or the row into the table, we are not getting any information about the row that being inserted. Okay, but with returning clause, we can do that. And here you can see the syntax of returning returning clause that uh, we do not need to change anything with the insert query you just need to add the returning and then what details you want to return after inserting the record into the database okay so you can either return the entire row that you inserted or some specific column names okay you can use asterisk sign to return the entire row that inserted okay and if you put the column name instead of asterisk risk sign then you will see the column name only in the result okay now let's try this by returning the entire row okay so just switch to the postgres console and here you can see that this was the row we inserted into the last lecture now what we can do here that just change the id here okay because uh, the id will not get uh, inserted as an auto increment now because we did not edit any serial or any uh, constraint there okay and we will do that in later so we now need to manually uh, increment our id here and what we need to do now we just need to use the returning clause here okay so let's use returning okay and you can use the asterisk sign now what will happen that if you run this query okay so this record will insert it into the database and you will get the inserted record into the result so let's run this query and here you can see that you are getting this record one row id name email contact number address and what is this id3 name alex smith email alex at the example.com this contact number and address jaipur india okay however here what we did that we returned the entire row if you want to return only specific column that you can do that Thing as well so for example now change the id again uh, let's put uh, four here and change the name let's say mark smith okay and now let's put the id instead of asterisk okay so now when you run this query what you will uh, get that you will get the only the id attribute of the students column and of this row okay so let's put here so here you can see that what information you are getting that you are only getting the id column okay so and just like this you can return multiple columns as well so let's try that example as well let's say id and then name okay and uh, you can change the name and id again let's say mark smith make it mark anderson okay and make the id as five okay so now when you run this query you will see only id and name into the response so run this query and here you can see that id name and you are getting five and mark anderson okay so this is how we can use the returning clause into the postgres and that's it so just to summarize in this lecture we used returning class and this is used to get the information about the last inserted row you can either fetch entire row or selected columns all depend upon your needs so let's try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture where we will use how to uh, use select clause in the postgres and what it is okay till then tata goodbye take care stay safe